Welcome to our ACCA paper, F8 Audit and Assurance. My name is Dave and I'm the course director here for the APC. So for this F8 course, what I'm going to do in this particular introduction is first of all, I'm going to talk to you through about what do I mean by audit and then I'm going to quickly take you through to what the exam looks like as well. So first of all, this paper is called F8 Audit and Assurance. But what does that mean? Well, it simply means that we have prepared for the financial statement in the paper F3, as well as the paper F7, Financial Reporting, before. But the financial statements are prepared for the by the financial accountant within the business as the shareholder so imagine that you've got one billion dollars within your hand and uh, you like to invest your one billion dollars into buying my company shares I've presented the financial statement to you and would you trust that I've made a profit let's say ten billion dollars well, without some level of assurance, you will not believe that I've made $10 billion, for example. And that's the reason why you want somebody who is not a staff within my company to check my financial statement to make sure that the figures that I've told you, let's say $10 billion worth of profit, is correct. And that's the reason why that member or that staff who's not in my company is going to check my account is called the auditor. So what do I mean by audit? It's just to be a check on the financial statements and making sure that the financial statements figures will be correct. And that's all we need to learn. And of course, in this particular F8 course, I'm going to teach you how we're going to check, so for example, that that company have said their cash balance is $1 billion, whether or not that's correct. Their inventory value is $2 billion, whether or not that's correct. What about for the inventory account? Has it been pop, uh, properly uh, conducted? And it says the property plant equipment is $10 billion whether or not that's correct as well. I'm going to teach you lots of techniques and procedures that we tend to use in this entire paper. At the same time, assurance, uh, which means it's your confidence I'm going to give. Uh, I'm going to explain that in a second, don't worry, but so far for the F8 all you need to learn is that F8 audit and assurance is all about checking the financial statements whether or not this will be correct. So that's the, all we need to learn. Next, we are going to be focusing on the exam itself for the paper F8. If you go to www.accaglobal.com and you click on past exam paper in the bottom of your page and then filter the paper F8 and you will see lots of information. First of all, I'm going to click on the FA specimen paper just for fun. Okay. And for the paper F8, you can choose the paper based exam or the computer based exam. It's entirely up to you. I'm going to show you the paper based as well as the computer based exams here. So first of all, let's see the paper based exam. And then we're going to see the computer based exam. So let's see the paper based exam then for the paper F8. Fifty percent, which means you passed the exam. Okay, fifty marks. So hundred marks in total. You are given three hours and fifteen minutes in total in doing this paper. You got two sections: section A, fifteen questions; section B, three questions only. 
So section A is the short scenario and the examiner has given you five questions to tackle. And then short scenario, question six to ten. Another short scenario, question eleven up to question fifteen. Thirty marks. And then the examiner has given you three long questions to tackle from A to E. 30 marks first question. And the second one, 20 marks. And the third one is another 20 marks. 100 marks in total, 50 marks will be passing the F8 exam. If you choose the computer based exam, on the other hand, yes, click on next. Instructions, click on next. Next, next, next. You've got two sections, 30 and 70 marks. Okay, click on yes. Move on to section A, two marks each. Okay, so you're going to drag this here. Click on next few questions they have to go through, really. Multiple choice questions and so on. Okay, now let's move on to section boy. Got three questions in total. Okay, so if you focus on this screen and you will see that you're required to type your answer into um, the Word document. Uh, it's the blank area given by ACCN. That's very good. Uh, you can Look at the questions on the left hand side and type your answer onto the right hand side. That's quite good, really. Click on next. Okay. And the examiner is giving you, okay, we got the audit risks and auditor's response because uh, our tutor will teach the audit risk question how to answer it uh, in such a format. And ACCA also recommends students to use that format. And hence you can write your audit risks as well as the response directly in there. Section C as well, uh, question C as well, D and E. And then next question, same as before, not too difficult. And after you finish off all those questions, you're required to submit your answer. Okay? And of course the section A would be marked by the computer directly, but a section boy will be marked by human beings. And that's the reason why in our entire course I'm going to teach you how you need to, how you can gain the maximum marks, okay? I'm going to show the exam techniques related to that as well. So that's for the paper F8 introduction. I hope you find this introduction useful and interesting. I look forward to seeing you in the next section onwards for F8 journey. And bye for now. Good luck with your F8 exam. APC, accounting for your future.